Hello. Today I want to show you one of our SWR and power meter, the SW28HF. Opening the package, you will find the meter itself, a programming cable, and a user manual. Let's take out the meter and have a look. This meter has a built-in battery for portable use. You can use the USB-C port on the bottom right for charging. There's also LED next to the port. Red means charging and green means fully charged. Click the red button to turn on or off the meter. Let's take a look of the back side. Below, the ANT socket is for connecting antennas and the TX socket is for connecting radios. On top, you can also find the model name, the frequency range, and the max power input. The frequency range for this meter is 1.5 to 60 MHz, and the max power input is 120 watts. Now, let's give it a test. We'll begin by measuring the SWR first. For this demonstration, we're using a CB radio. Connect the CB radio to the TX socket of the meter, and connect the antenna to the ANT socket. Begin transmission, and we can read the value on the display. As we can see, the SWR reaches 19.9, .9, the max output of this meter. So clearly, this antenna is not compatible with the transmission. We'll quickly swap to another antenna. Once everything is set, begin transmission and read the value. For this antenna, the SWR is around 4. Not exactly well, but it's clearly better than the last one. Now, let's measure the power of the CB radio. Remove the antenna and connect a dummy load to the ANT socket. Begin transmission and read the value. From the display, the power of the transmission is about 4 watts. Let's talk about some other features of this meter. Next to the display, you will find a menu button. Press the button and a list of options will show up. You can press the peak slash average button to change the options, or press the menu button again to move to the next option. For the first option, you can choose between normal mode for the default setting, peak mode for continuously capturing the highest value of the measurement, and peak zero mode for resetting the meter to zero right after recording the peak of every measurement. The second option, you can choose for the meter to make a warning beep noise when the SWR reaches a certain value. We'll set it to 3 for now. The third option allows the meter to reset the value back to zero after a certain period of time. The fourth option is to exit the menu without saving. And the fifth option is to save and exit the menu. Now, let me show you what the SWR warning noise sounds like. Connect the antenna and begin transmission. As you can see, when the value of the SWR reaches over 3, there will be a warning beep to let you know. That will be all for the showcase. Thank you for watching.